the uh, we're gonna call this thing the Z2. The Z2 uh, overall build quality. It's um it's not bad. Now this is a 10 millimeter bullet style dynamic driver I am so that's kind of cool I don't see I don't see a lot of 10 millimeter bullet styles so that's neat that is neat um I find them pretty comfortable didn't have any fit issues myself cable is not bad at all it does have a microphone we are currently listening to the microphone on the Z2 I man I wish I could pronounce the name of this company slash IEM but I'm not even going to give it a shot I'm sorry I am so sorry as well as a control here and then it yeah it also has a slider so that that's cool and then terminates into a straight termination also this company is the only company that has ever done velcro right every other company they do like the pointy teeth side of the velcro on the outside and it causes like the velcro to get stuck to everything this has a nice soft label here and it doesn't get stuck on stuff like the they did, they, they did Velcro right. Great job. That alone is worth some praise. Awesome. Every other company should take notes. Use the soft side of the Velcro on the outside, not the toothy part of the Velcro. Just every company, take notes. Anyways, anyways. Um, comes with a little pouch. It's like a nice little pouch here. Uh, solid tip selection, as well as some like very interesting tips. Like these... They're like a sticky kind of silicone, and then you got some foams here. Only the one size of both of those, and then some other tips as well. So, solid accessory package. Um, these are 25 Canadian dollars, I thought it said, on the ad listing. So, under 30 bucks. Awesome. Um, yeah. Overall, build quality is pretty good. Accessory package, pretty good. And just little things like that Velcro, it goes a long way. It goes a long way for someone like me. How do they sound? So on a graph, you might be looking at these and thinking, um, I don't know about that. Like that, that looks a bit weird to me in the tuning. But in listening to them, I actually kind of like them. I actually kind of like these. They're not the same old, same old. They're not like every other IEM that's been coming out lately. They're different. And they sound interesting. They sound interesting. So the bass is enjoyable. Um, it's not like an overly boosted sub bass, but it has a real good amount of mid bass and lower mids. And that is, it's almost necessary to balance out the amount of mid treble there is. But the way that they did this, like it's, it is boosted in the treble. It is kind of boosted in that lower mid section. But the way they did it all, it came out pretty good. It came out pretty okay. I'm, I was really drawn to to music with acoustic guitars because the strings and how they rung out was just, it was nice. It, it's enjoyable to listen to for stuff like that. Uh, so I was listening to lots of, lots of country and folk type stuff. Um, when I was listening to like punk rock, like the Real Mackenzie stuff like that, uh, the Real Mackenzies, there's um, bagpipes in that music. It's interesting. Um, female vocals sounded pretty dang good still. Um, it does have a lot of upper mids, but because it has that treble boost and the lower mid boost thing going on for it, it it's just, it's a weird, interesting sound. And I like them, and I'm giving them a pass just simply because they don't sound like every other single DDIEM on the market right now. They sound very different very different and in an enjoyable way for me now that treble is going to be spicy for a lot of people i personally cannot even listen to these at my full listening volume but i turn it up to where i'm comfortable and i listen and i enjoy the presentation of the music so overall these things sound pretty okay pretty okay um drums have a good weight to them like there's a there's a decent note weight because of how they did the lower mid presentation and, and the mid bass and everything um bass guitar sounds surprisingly enjoyable um 
guitars sound surprised like it overdrives overdrives you can hear the like the different harmonics at play with distortion and overdrive pedals and it's kind of getting boosted in the mix it's this isn't neutral but it's enjoyable for me i don't mind this at all it, it it's fun it's it's enjoy it's enjoyable um so yeah not neutral it, it has too much trouble for most people it has too much lower mids for most people but but i think they did a good job and i think that it actually sounds pretty okay i don't mind this at all um is it something i would listen to every day no but can i appreciate it for what it is absolutely i can appreciate this for what this is a 10 millimeter bullet style i am with a microphone decent build and accessory package and a tuning that is unlike most things on the market today that that alone good enough for me good enough for me uh good job with this one um the company did a good job with this for sure and again every company needs to take notes about the velcro here it's soft on the outside toothy on the inside it doesn't get caught on things brilliant brilliant that alone worth some praise anyways um yeah if you have any questions about this leave them in the comments down below like comment subscribe and until next time